All right, so you got a job in Japan. Congratulations, that's great news. The bad news is you're going to have to pay tax and insurance premiums on that. Now, in most cases, your employer in Japan will deduct those premiums on your behalf. So it's important to check what's being deducted. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Okay, we've got health insurance premiums, uh, employees' pension insurance premiums, this one, nursing care insurance premiums. Nope, hang on, that's only if you're over 40. Uh, what else? Employment insurance premiums. We've got income tax and residence tax. Hopefully that's just about everything and you'll have enough money left over to pay the bills. Still, if you've been paying these premiums for a year or more and you meet all the conditions, there are some benefits to having paid them. And one is that when you go from being employed to having your job terminated or being in a situation where you can't find work, support is available via something called the Employment Insurance System Basic Allowance Unemployment Benefit. Now, the employment insurance can cover childcare and nursing care if you need to look after a sick member of family. To find out more about working as a foreigner here in Tokyo, head over to the Life in Tokyo Your Guide. Life in Tokyo Your Guide is a booklet listing basic information for those starting a life in Tokyo. You can pick it up from city offices and local international associations, or download it from the Life in Tokyo website.